Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and I thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope you find this helpful. Please don't buy this stuff. It's got so much artificial stuff in it. It really is not good for you. And I'm going to show you a recipe that is awesome. Now, I'm going to give you a wonderful mix recipe that you can mix up your own much cheaper. I'm going to start in this bowl, but it, this isn't going to work. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm going to have to switch. Now, you need a total of 10 cups of flour. You'll see, this is pretty full with 10 cups of flour in here. I do want to say that you can use six cups of white all-purpose flour and four cups of whole wheat. My family prefers just the white flour, and I use an unbleached, non-GMO, organic flour. That's, that's the whole purpose behind making such your own pancake mix. You can use a better quality flour that's much better. And you don't have to have all those artificial junky ingredients. But like I said, it's 10 cups of flour. Your choice, six of white and four whole wheat if that's what you like. But you also want to add two and a half cups of dried powdered milk, a half cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup of baking powder. And you want to mix it all together. That's why I brought out the roasting pan because the bowl was not big enough to be able to mix all that together. This is a gallon pickle jar. I think I've mentioned before I had a friend, her daughter, when she lived at home before she got married, she ate a lot of pickles. My friend would give me the pickle jars. I, I put a lot of things in them. My pancake mix is one. Now, I have individually just, you know, Use the buttermilk powder that they sell and mix it up, you know, like a cup of at a time and just made my pancakes. But I got to thinking, this is a wonderful way. I was given this recipe over 25 years ago. haven't used it in a really long time. And I said, this is a wonderful way of mixing everything up and making sure I'll always have it on hand by doing it this way. And so I decided to do it. Now... I labeled the jar. I took a little index card. I put how much it takes. It takes one and a half cups of pancake mix, two eggs, and one cup of water. Now, you can get away with using just one egg, and you want a half teaspoon of salt. And you just mix it all together. Now, it makes some of the best pancakes. It really does. And the convenience of making your own mix, high quality mix, good quality mix, just incredible. And they're light, fluffy, crispy around the edges, little pats of butter. I like to cut my butter up in little pats and keep it right there so that I can take one at a time. I use a one-fourth cup measuring cup to measure the batter out. For each pancake. Oh, you're talking about lip smacking good. Convenient. This is a recipe of convenience and flavor and quality and low price. Well, hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please take this time to subscribe. And God bless each and every one of you. And may you have be blessed with plenty to eat.